a brave pack, united for survival. Meerkats need their families to watch their backs. Dangers abound in their desert home. For one young female, the challenge is ramped up when she finds herself homeless. She needs to win the support of another group. Only together can the little predators beat the odds. Trouble in the ranks. This young female has just passed her first birthday. But she's ready to breed. And for that reason, the dominant female wants her out. Meerkats live in packs that look after their own with tenderness and care, but can fight fiercely, even to the death when tempers run high. Packs are run by an alpha pair, and this alpha female doesn't want the competition. The young female has no choice other than to leave her home before the attacks become more serious. Cast out, she roams the desert. Lost without her companions to watch her back. The Namib is no walk in the park. It's the oldest desert on earth, challenging life since the days of the dinosaurs. Sprawling 2,000 kilometers along the western coast of southern Africa, its endless horizons are daunting, trapping animals in its hostile grip. For a lone, pint-sized meerkat, it could be a death sentence. If the heat and lack of water don't get her, then the desert predators might. She doesn't have a pack to watch her back. It's been a tough day. Tired and stressed, she hopes to make it through the night. The desert has a night shift. Creatures that wait for the cooler air to emerge and feed. But the strange sounds and shapes of the night are daunting to the little sun lover. Despite its prickly appearance, the porcupine spines are defensive, not offensive. 
It just wants to dig for roots and bulbs in peace. The young female's relief seems obvious when sun finally tempts her from the crevice. Meerkats always start their day by basking in the sun, but she can't relax. She doesn't know where she is, but she knows she needs to find food and water. As the temperature climbs, mirages form. It looks like there is water everywhere but it's an illusion. The hot ground bending rays of light reflecting the sky. Actual water is much harder to find. Most animals extract water from their food, though there isn't much left in the dried, sunburnt vegetation. The young female picks up an alluring smell. She can hear birds. A gathering flock suggests water. The starlings are visiting a tiny water hole. The female takes a few life-saving sips. But this is not a free bar. The landlord spots the intruder. Unwittingly, the young female has trespassed into someone else's real estate. The family is instantly on the defensive. They have a lot to fight for. Their territory contains water the rarest desert resource. The attack is fast and savage. But then, perhaps feeling they have made the message clear, the fighting stops. Just to be on the safe side, the alpha male goes into a frenzy of territorial scent marking, spraying his personalized signal on prominent signposts and rubbing scent glands on his face. The female is injured and still on the pack's territory. But they ignore her and go back to foraging it's only by working together as a team like this that meerkats can defend their homes. They need to live in groups, including the young female. She needs to integrate into a new family. But at the moment, this clan has its hands full. The alpha female is heavily pregnant. The whole family seems on high alert, looking out for the mother-to-be. She goes to ground. The pack is made up of the alpha pair and their offspring. And now the dozen clan members hang out in the sun, waiting to meet the new arrivals. They ignore the convalescing stranger. The desert is a challenging place to live. All of the creatures here have unique adaptations to cope with one of the most hostile homes on the planet. Antelope, like the majestic Gemsbok, have low metabolisms, so they can function with minimum food and water. They can tolerate incredible temperatures. 
Their bodies can reach 45 degrees Celsius, enough to kill most mammals. A network of blood vessels in their noses helps cool the blood before it flows to their brains to prevent heat damage. Even the plants here are engineered to beat the heat. These living stones are tiny succulents, camouflaged from plant eaters by blending in with the gravel. Most of the plant lives underground, where it can escape the heat and avoid losing water. The Namib experiences huge temperature changes from below freezing at night to over 45 degrees. And water starved sometimes receives as little as two millimeters of rain each year. Two weeks have passed. The meerkat clan is out foraging on the plains as usual, digging, hoping to excavate bugs or some other buried treasure. One strikes gold. A chunk of meat. Perhaps it was dropped by one of the neighborhood's jackals. Though they mostly eat little creatures they catch, they're opportunists. Protein-rich meat is a bonus and something worth defending. The young female, recovered from her injuries, has been patiently watching from the sidelines as the clan prepares for new members. And today is the day they have been waiting for. Four little ones take their first steps into a bigger world. From day one, they will have the benefits of a big family. They have a lot to learn. It will take a group effort to protect them and teach them all they need to know. The young female moves in for a closer look. but the Alpha is quick to put her in her place. For the next two months, the little ones will have milk on tap, and not just from their mother. Remarkably, even females that have never had babies can produce milk and help suckle the young. For meerkats, it's a team effort from start to finish. All members take turns at lookout, finding a vantage point where they can scan for danger. There is safety in numbers. And that doesn't just go for the meerkats. African ground squirrels often hang out nearby. They enjoy the company, though like any family, have their ups and downs. The rowdy neighbors don't throw the meerkats from their duties. 
and eventually they settle down and forage. Out in the sun, the squirrels have an advantage. Their tails are built in parasols, shading the squirrels while they work. The meerkats have no such luxury, but it doesn't matter. They have an important job to do. The new members of the family need to learn to hunt. Meerkats eat most small animals. Even spiders, though sometimes they bite off more than they can chew. It's frustrating when you know there is food right under your nose. But digging with their long claws, they disturb one bug that can bite back, a scorpion. Many species of scorpion inhabit the desert. All of them, like this angry burrowing scorpion, have powerful pincers and an agile tail sting to inject venom. Fearlessly, the alpha male goes on the attack. Even venomous animals like scorpions and snakes can be on the menu. Meerkats can tolerate six times the amount of venom it would take to kill a rabbit. He jealously guards his prize, chewing off the sting. By taking baby steps, the little ones are encouraged to cut their teeth on mouth-sized termites. They are easily distracted when there is so much to explore. Beetles are fun, but a bit big for baby mouths. Schools out. The alarm call has an instant effect. The adults stand, eyes glued to the eagle while the youngsters are ushered to safety. The young female huddles at the edge of the group until the danger has passed. She's still an outsider, but the pack does seem to be getting used to her. She's learning to know the boundaries. And one thing's for sure, she knows to keep her distance from the alpha pair and their babies. Things might have cooled off in the pack, but the desert is cranking up the heat. Mirages form on the horizon. Animals seek the tiniest slithers of shade, where the air can be a few degrees cooler. The antelope huddle, vying for the best spots. but all have to give way when giants arrive. Even mighty desert elephants, the biggest of their kind, need to find ways to beat the heat. Elephants are experts in sniffing out and digging to underground water. But even they are struggling. Fortunately, they can reach the last of the green leaves. Each year, the canopy is raised by this browsing. Soon, only the giraffes will be able to reach it. 
They shake out leaves or pull down branches, then hoover up what's on the ground. Other animals might benefit from their leftovers. Out on the plains, shady trees are not an option for the meerkat clan. But they have their own tactics. Time for the babies to learn another vital survival skill. One that is handed down through generations of their family. Digging. Their network of underground tunnels and chambers serve not only as an escape from predators, but from the elements. The family commune requires constant upkeep, repairs and extensions. Their hard work's interrupted. Sand grouse seem to appear from thin air. The delicate birds live and nest in the hottest, most remote parts of the desert. But when they have young, they must fly in search of water. The meerkat's drinking spot has brought them in. The birds will quench their thirst, but also soak their breast feathers, which will act like a sponge, taking on water that they can ship back to their nests. All the activity attracts some unwanted attention. But the birds are fast. Still, the flocks have brought the jackal into the heart of the meerkat's territory. It picks up their scent. The wily predator will eat any small creature it can catch. A meerkat would be ideal. It drops to creep in. A sentinel spots the movement. The troop stands united. The predator has lost any element of surprise. Without an ambush, it has no chance of running down the speedy meerkats, and so it retreats. The family can get back to their babysitting. It turns out the jackal also has a family to take care of. But today, her pups will go hungry. Neighbors are once again disturbing the meerkat's peace. The prancing springbok are getting ready to mate. The start of their breeding season means that changes in the air. The summer has been long and hard. It's taken its toll on the pack. Under the desert sun, their unending family chores have left them exhausted. They want to rest but it can be dangerous for any to drop their guard. Especially when the family is being watched. The jackal is back. With young of her own to feed, it's vital for her to make a kill.
With patient stealth, she creeps closer. The young female is the first to notice. Instinct kicks in to sound the alarm. In the blink of an eye, the pack runs for cover. The jackal, right on their tail, attempts to breach their security. But their well-maintained network of tunnels provides plenty of escape routes. Once again, the wild dog must abandon her hunt and go home empty-handed. When the clan emerges from their safe house, things have changed. The little ones are climbing over a new aunt, the newcomer who saved their life. It seems she has finally won the trust of the pack and been welcomed in. It's been a long, tough season for the meerkats and their desert neighbors, but finally building clouds offer some relief. In just a matter of days, the desert is transformed. Barren dirt is carpeted with spring blooms. A feast for the grazers, a time of plenty for everyone. Thanks to their commitment to each other, their family, their pack, the meerkats have beaten the odds. The good times won't last forever, but standing strong and watching each other's backs, they are poised and ready to face challenges head on. And thanks to her perseverance and her keen eyes, the newest member of the family is ready to play her part.